Hi guys, um, my name is Cheeseburger and is, I'm just showing you a little art supplies um, stuff that I use to draw and stuff. I know it's like in a box and it's like all mumble jumbled and I know because I'm lazy and I can't organize stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I use microns. So this size is zero, oh wait, no. I put on the wrong cap, okay. Okay, that's better. Um, so this is... 005, which is this micron, which is, you know, 005. So, uh, and this one is 02, or 0 0.2. Okay, so, um, yeah. And I have other sizes, too, but they're in another box. So, uh, yeah. Next, I use some Copics. I don't have a big variety, but these are just some of them. This is E000, Pale Fruit Pink, R20 Blush. Sorry if my camera quality is really bad, I know, because I have a really crappy camera. So yeah, this is, yeah. Next off, I have just like really basic markers, like Big Marking, which is, you know, Big the brand and stuff. So yeah, this is Fine Point, and you can get these in packs at like Target and stuff. They're not that, ex well they're kind of expensive, they're like, I actually don't remember how much they are, but they're kind of expensive. Next, I have the white jelly roll, which, um, at, you can get these at Michael's, which are, they're like a dollar or two dollars. They're not that expensive at all. So, the next thing I'm going to show you isn't really, I got them in, like, a case. So, these are all the colored pencils I have. Because I don't really use colored, pen colored pencils because I, I just don't like them. So, these colored pencils come in, like, there's, like, I have, like, a kit that I got for my birthday. And so, these are, um... Just the way they look and stuff. There it also comes with like watercolors and stuff and like um pastels and stuff. So yeah. Next I have Sharpies, which yes, Sharpies, they're really basic for anything really. I just have them because why not? And I know these are like really cheap brand of the touch things, the touch markers. So these are touch fives and they're like knockoffs of touch. And they were only thirty dollars for like eighty of them, so for beginners. I kind of recommend these, There's though there's other brands online for beginners, so yeah, because I used these for my first, not really Copic, but, you know, a basic marker. And I only have one of these for now because I lost most of them, but I have a Mr. Sketch marker because I was using it for, like, an outline of something, so yeah. It smells like bananas and it smells really good. <laughs> Next, I have a pen. I know this is like, it's just a pen. I actually found it on the ground in like a class or something. It still works actually. Let me just get a piece of paper to test it out. Okay, so I couldn't find paper, which is, I don't know how I couldn't find paper, but so I'm just gonna show you some other stuff, which I also use a ruler. You know, it's like my camera's very shaky, but I also use a ruler. This is just like from a bank or something, so yeah. And these are the watercolor cakes I was talking about, which I got from the other, the pack or the box. This is just the watercolors. They look much cleaner than this, but this is, I use them, so this is what they look like. Most, yeah, that's what they look like. They come in different shades of colors. They come in, like, naturals, pastels. This is, I think, natural color, not natural, um, like, basic colors, like, yellow, green, blue, and stuff. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is that I have a certain type of color mix, but I think they're chow brand like chow type so these are like different than other copics they have like a round tip instead of like um let me get one. like uh this tip so they have like a circle tip and these ones have less ink which i heard these like the barrel has more ink in this one than this one so this is why i bought these for my first copics these were my first copics they came in a pack they were like pastel colors which is not really pastel but they have a bullet tip and uh let me just and a brush tip and this color is amethyst which is v17 so yeah also i forgot that i have this which is i forget what it's called i got this like a pretty long time ago like a couple months ago and it's like a pentel brand something it's from japan i'm just gonna show you the packaging of it so this is the packaging of it. It I opened it because that's why it's like dense in it. But there's like it's all in Japanese. So if you get one of these markers, um, they come in all they're all in Japanese. So I couldn't really read it. So I just 
saw like the pictures on the back and that was pretty much the only explanation I'd get to how to you know put together so how you put this together is that there's like a red thing in the middle and you just screw that off and then you just you know have you just snap that back the barrel back on and then you just push the this barrel i guess we'll call it and you push it and the ink will flow through because when you first get it it just has like a white tip so you get the the ink to flow through so yeah so the last thing i have for art supplies is not really like a marker it's just a pencil that i use it is a point a 0 0.5 millimeter um like lead thing and it's, it's by Paper Mate, and it's Clear Point. It's a really good pen, or not pen, um, pencil. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. So it's good for, like, thin lines. And if you have a preference, like, you, I don't really like 0 0.7 because it's, like, really thick for me. But, um, yeah, I really like this. It's really good quality and stuff. So go check them out. They're really cool. So that was my art supplies for today. And I know, still, it's really messy. And so, um, yeah. Okay, so those are my supplies for today. Um, see you guys later. Bye.